Yeah, hi everyone, it's uh, Peter from Prado Places Oz. Today I thought I'd share a new piece of uh, kit I've just purchased. Um, it's a Red Arc 100 amp hour go block. Um, I'm obviously gonna put it in the back of Prado. Um, why did I buy this instead of getting a DC-DC usual install? I think it's just the portability of this system that attracted me. And I'm gonna show you what's in the box and uh, show you the features of this go block. So I guess Red Arc is renowned for uh, quality products and uh, they're also actually made in Australia, which is a rarity these days, instead of being made in China or somewhere else. So it's nice to be able to support an Australian uh, product and uh, this is the box it actually uh, comes in. So even though the box is like a quality unit in itself, as you can see. So let's start unpacking it and uh, we'll show you what's in the box. You can see it's really well uh, packed and uh, it's a pretty pretty nifty piece of kit i think it's got some simple instructions just inside the carton showing you what all of the little bits actually do um, these are the outputs on the front as you can see there um, and we'll have a look at these in a bit more detail but uh, yeah it's um a nice looking well packed piece of kit so this is the accessory pack that was just in the side there um, just take this out have a look what's in here probably just the chargers i think and the instruction book um, it's quite a thick instruction book here with how to operate it and how to charge it um, it's got a seven and a half amp charger mains uh, charger and it's also got um, a 12 volt accessory socket charger that you can plug it in into the car as well to charge it um, yeah so that's the charging apparatus uh, that comes with it you can also get a solar blanket obviously but um, i'm probably not going to get a red arc one because of the cost so let's uh, quickly look at the sockets here. So the far left there, you have the trickle charger input and Red Arc supply you with either a 12 volt cable or a, an AC uh, cable as well, that plug in there. That's gonna uh, trickle charge this at seven and a half amps apparently. You've next got a merit socket, you've got an angle fridge socket there and you've got a standard 12 volt SIG socket. Um, this is a, a 50 amp Anderson output in there, which allows you to run an inverter, I believe, up to 300 watts. And on this side here, you've got your standard USB-A four sockets there as well for charging your phone, laptop, iPad, your drone, whatever. So all in all, it's got a number of really, really useful sockets. So now just looking at the rear input, there's only one input on the rear. Uh, it's a 50 amp Anderson, as you can see. And it says here the ways that you can actually charge this. So you can charge from solar panels, from a vehicle alternator, and you can also um, use this to restart your battery, I believe as well, if you get a flat battery. And there's a special way of doing that. Okay, so I've just been uh, reading through the instruction books and you can uh, monitor your battery performance on an app, which I've just downloaded from the App Store. And you can see I've just plugged in the battery. This is as it came out the box. It was 20% uh, charged. Um, and you can see what's happening. I've got it plugged into the mains charger. It's uh, charging at 7.4 amps. It's going to take 12 hours to fully charge up from 20 percent and uh, currently the battery voltage is 13.1 volts and it's 27 degrees so quite a lot of useful information that you can see on the app 
So I was uh, talking about this Anderson socket previously, and I think I said that you could only use a 300 watt inverter from this. I've just read the instruction book and you can use an inverter up to 700 watts. So that will be really useful for powering a fair amount of devices. Um, the inverter is obviously something that you have to purchase separately, but you don't necessarily need to use it with a red arc one, which is a good thing. Okay, so uh, doing a first sort of road test now on uh, the Red Arc. Um, I've had it on the charge. Uh, you can see here it's fully charged. Um, and then what I've done is I've plugged in my fridge, which is a Rovin 52 litre fridge. I've plugged that in there, as you can see, to the Merit socket. And I'm doing a bit of a road test just to see how long it takes to get things down to fridge-like temperature okay so just looking at the red arc app and the fridge side by side so you can see that uh, the red arcs are 13.3 volts uh, the fridge because the compressor is actually running at the moment to get it down to three degrees um, you can see that it's pulling the 2.8 amps out of the red arc at the moment in the display there and you can see that uh, it's sitting at five degrees and that's like 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes after I switched it on at 23 degrees and plugged it in to the red arc. So that's pretty impressive, I think, as to what it's done. And uh, the battery on the red arc still showing 99%, which was where I started. Okay, so this has been sort of running for an hour now. The compressor's switched off. The fridge is at three degrees, which is what I set it to. The red arc still showing exactly the same battery capacity as when I started, which was 99%. And it doesn't appear to be drawing any significant uh, current to, to register on the app from the battery itself. So um, the battery is here, and you can see... The marker's still f fully charged on the top, and uh, yeah, it's been impressed so far. So one other aspect of this Red Arc Go Block that I really like is that you can charge it uh, directly from the car. So what you have to do, you can plug it straight in to the back of the block from the car alternator with a fuse, obviously. Um, you do need to make sure the cable is uh, capable of 60 amps, so that's probably a gauge 4 cable, I would think, AWG4. Um, and again, you've got to work out how long your cables, uh, cable run is, so it's not just the cable run from uh, the battery to the back of the car, it's also the length also back to the negative terminal. And you can see that's probably going to be in that five to nine meter range. So they actually recommend that you use a four gauge AWG cable in that instance, just so you're safe on the carrying of 60 amps because it charges at 50 amps. Okay, so what's my overall impression of this? Uh, as I say, I haven't actually used it in the car yet probably get that opportunity at the weekend but certainly the first road test uh, just here in the house is that it's an impressive piece of uh, kit it's extremely well built it feels extremely solid typical of red arc products and i think it's going to be um, a really useful thing to have certainly if you're a bit of a weekend warrior like i am where you're just going out for a couple of days and you want to take the fridge and you want to keep everything cold, run a few sort of accessories in the back of the car and not have to worry about power. So my synopsis is at this stage, it's a, a really cool bit of kit and I'm looking forward to using it and reporting back on it over the next few months. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like these sort of videos. Thank you.